I came into my workout this morning after last night re-watching uh, Alan Thrall's most recent video on how to deadlift. It's really helpful because previously I, I always felt like I was doing it wrong, whether I was doing sumo or conventional, because, because I'm so leaned over, you know, my hips are high, um, even in sumo, and I see some of these guys doing sumo, you know, and they've got their legs spread out real wide. Um, their body's very upright. But, uh, a good sumo puller uh, has different leverages and different abilities than I have. Because I have long legs relative to my body, so in theory that should make me a good sumo puller. very when I try to spread my legs wide the the differences in how the muscle is used uh, doesn't fit me I tend to squat narrow also so when I pull sumo my it's sort of a narrow sumo my, my feet are right outside my arms and when I pulling conventional, then of course my feet are also narrow. Uh, but either way, when I re-watch the videos, my, my, my back position, my hip height, is actually almost the same, which makes sense because my foot position is not all that different. And, you know, watching that video, you know, he's talking about how you find your hip height, uh, you know, based on, you know, you put the bar like one to two inches away from your, oh, from your shoe, your shins, and, and then you should really be pulling it up your shins, uh, which is what I'm doing. So I can't really get any closer to the bar. Uh, and I can't really get my my hips lower because if I do, my knees will go over the bar and I'll pull the bar right into my legs. Um, it really works the same with sumo as well. So I just have to accept that I'm kind of an awkward uh, deadlifter because of my proportions. And uh, if if I had great proportions, I might be a power lifter. Um, and then I had been talking before about, you know, intensity and what's a set and what's a rep and all this kind of stuff. And I've kind of gotten, I kind of got on this, with this idea that I'm just, if I want to get stronger, then I just have to try and lift heavier. So I'm just lifting as heavy as I can and still controlling the weight. I managed to do eight reps again with 205 on deadlift, but I'm just going up five pounds every time. And at some point, uh, I know that I'm not going to get eight reps. Maybe I'll get five or six, um, which ideally that's kind of where I'd like to be on the deadlifts. Um, and a lot of my exercises, so I'm kind of shooting for anywhere for this, like maybe like four or five to uh, to maybe seven or eight reps is the range that I want to be in because I, I I feel like if I'm getting up there, you know, in the eight to ten rep range, then it's a moderate weight, and I'm kind of burning out the muscles. Uh, you know, sometimes cardiovascularly, if it's something like a deadlift or, or, um, or a squat. And what I really want to be doing is I want to be telling my body, hey, you need to be able to lift this weight. 
So the only way I can do that is to try and lift that weight. And so, so here I think I got like four, uh, pretty pretty decent. You know, I, I really felt it in the lats. Um, so I think I isolated them a little better than last time, doing about the same number of reps. Um, you know, but I had gotten about eight reps with the purple band that I was using, and then I moved straight up to the the red band, which is pretty thin, so it's almost no help at all. And then and then I go and do a couple with with just body weight because I want my body to be used to doing it with body weight. So the only way I can do that is to get as close as possible uh, so that I can do that with um, strict technique. And I'm almost there. I'll probably do one or two more, maybe one more.